Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be the first video of my new series, Story Time. So let's just jump into it. So, like the title says, I didn't graduate high school. Um, before you guys assume, I did eventually graduate high school throughout a huge different process that made things way much easier and way much better. So, just keep on watching to find out what happened. I really don't want this to be too, too long, but I guess we'll just have to start off with, I went to a regular high school. Those of you who are watching that went to school with me, hello, and you know, it was such a crappy school. Don't lie, you know. Um, it was just a regular public high school, I guess, and I went there thinking it was a good school because that's at the time everyone said it was a good school, etc., etc. Um, long story short, it definitely wasn't. It was pretty much chaos. It only got worse after I left the school, um, but that's like a different thing that, that has that to do with me. First off, I'd like to tell you guys a little more in-depth detail of my life when it comes to schooling. So, I wasn't a lazy person. I'd go to school every single day. I never missed a day. I did my homework every single day, even if I missed a class or whatever, for whatever reason, I tried to make up the homework or etc, etc. Um, my thing is, I never was a great test taker, I have really, really bad anxiety, so people, I don't know, people at the time didn't really care, like, teacher-wise, they just think you're trying to get out of it or this and that when in reality they should really care about you in that sense if they want you to pass but obviously teachers in that school did not really care everything was pretty smooth sailing up until like senior years when I had to make up probably like two classes which I did I didn't make up the class I made it up in a project I did that then I had chemistry and chemistry was very very difficult for me um freshman year my because we did we had a different houses freshman year my house did not have science we had double math which is utterly ridiculous and um yeah I, I didn't had I had science freshman year I would have been okay but since I had double math which was like the worst subject ever for me at the time it just, I just struggled. I really did struggle and I tried and I tried no matter how much I studied, no matter anything, I would just miserably fail. Um, the sad part is when you're in high school, you have to take a Regents exam and according to New York City, it's something that it determines whether you're smart enough for college or just to even graduate high school, which I think is freaking ridiculous. You shouldn't have a test that examines whether you're smart or you know not that smart to graduate high school it just makes no sense to me because a lot of people that I know that graduated that school did not deserve to graduate but it's just a series of unfortunate events let's just say that take a huge toll on me because obviously I wanted to graduate with my friends in 2010 but I couldn't because of that one regions I failed I failed my science regions by two points and they refused to check it over to give, give me any kind of points. As where my friend, who also had a similar situation, she had, I think, way less than me and she got her points magically there. What up? I didn't know that I didn't pass up until graduation day as where I was with my friends and I was in my cap and gown. And that's when they stripped me of my cap and gown in front of everybody and decided that it was okay to do that. I wasn't a bad person. They could have let me walk. I just feel like that was just really ridiculous in that sense. I would never, f like, make a child feel like they're worthless. And th right after that, I just kind of, like, it didn't really hit me. It just, I kind of ignored the fact that it happened. I got into, right after 2010, I pretty much died. It was sad for me. I was depressed. I didn't want to hang out with my friends. I pretty much stood home all the time. I didn't, I was not happy. I was, gener like, I was just really, really, really depressed and sad all the time. And that's when I 
had lost so much weight but that's another story for another time but I had lost so much weight and people would just thought that like I was starving myself on purpose but it wasn't it was because I was depressed I wasn't hungry I was just sad and then fast forward to three years later 2013 my friend um we hadn't talked in so long and she randomly like hit me up and we were talking and she had a a situation just like mine and she was like I wonder if we can go if get our diploma somehow and I woke up the next day really early we went to the city we did what we had to do it was such a long day but we are so grateful still to this day that we went and it does it didn't matter that we were 20 years old because we definitely did not look 20 Nobody even realized. Everybody thought we were lying when we said we were 20. And, you know, we got into school. We had a school that was close to home. And we graduated. Within five months, we learned so much about ourselves. Rather than the four years of high school that made us feel like crap. The school I went to, I'm not going to say the names, but um, it was an outreach. And it was an amazing school. It... Like, I, I don't know, it taught me so much about who I am. I became such an open person. I was raising my hand in class. I was up at the board. I was turning in essays. I'd love to hear the teacher's feedback and everything. I was so happy and so excited that people, we weren't, they weren't like teachers. They were like family and then they were there for me. And it made me such a strong person at the end of the day. I focused so much on myself and I was so happy that... I graduated and I you know and I had high grades and like everything was just so amazing I found out that I'm a great writer and that's something that my teachers and my old school never even told me they just was like oh this because they expected you to give them college essays freshman year when we just got from junior high school and I learned that I'm an amazing writer. I'm great at trigonometry, which is in, in, incredible. I never even thought I could get past algebra. So um, that was pretty awesome. I learned that I'm a very open person. I'm very, like, a, like a great... I don't know, like, I'm very positive and open with people. And that's just... I don't know, that alone made me such a happy person. I met some incredible people that I will forever know in my life and even though I was a little older than everyone else there I, they didn't care they were my friends anyways they talked to me they helped me when they knew I needed help um, my teachers weren't my friends but they were my family they became such an impact on my life and I'm glad things happened the way it did because hadn't I had not graduated in 2010 I would have never known about this school and my life changed so much and I'm telling you regardless don't be afraid to go to school back back to school at 20 I told my friend who had like another situation because he was like transferring schools all the time I told him go and I recommended him they would have took him in a heartbeat because I recommended him but he was too embarrassed to go at 20 years old and I mean for me I no one cares about what age you are they're in the same boat as you and we're all in the same school together trying to pass so we help one another and that's just how I see it so hope this really helps somebody and it's like a really good story to talk about because a lot of people just assume that I dropped out or that I just gave up on myself when I didn't and people who don't even know that I still went to school some people didn't even know that I didn't graduate and then other people were just kind of like, oh, she's, you know, probably doing nothing with her life. And I went back to school. I showed everyone that I can do it. So if you're struggling in school like I was, just don't hesitate to ask. Don't hesitate to raise your hand. Um, just, just ask for extra time or something like that when it comes to dealing with anxiety on tests. And if not, then transfer to an outreach. Chances are you're going to get an amazing school. I don't really want to tell you the school I went to, but they were so incredible. And 
yeah, I just love it. And yeah, so see you guys in my next video. Hope you guys really enjoyed this. Thumbs up if you would like to see more story time because I got plenty to tell you. Um, so yeah.